welcome again and thank you for joining us at Backwoods Cooking. Today we're going to be using some rain water and a rocket stove to cook up air potatoes. And along with our air potatoes, we got a bunch of other fine goodies here. We got some wild chives, we got some kale, we got some wild spider wart, and we got some collins. Then we're going to throw some brown rice over the top of it and have ourselves a mighty scrumptious dinner if I do say so myself. I hope. But before we start that, I want to tell you something about the air potatoes. And these are the ones that are growing wild all over Florida. They're a nuisance, uh, they're invasive, and they're pretty much taking over. They're trying to figure out ways of getting rid of them. But it's a special variety, so do not go out and start eating the potatoes off of those vines. You may get yourself sick. So what you have to do is find somebody that can either identify the ones that you can eat or get one of these little air potatoes from somebody that has identified it and knows that it's edible. So this is, this is what it looks like when it, when it drops off the vine. And you do not eat this, though there are some varieties that you can. You plant this in the ground, and what I like to do is put it in a pot and then put it at the base of a tree that's not surrounded by woods. The vine will come out, it'll grow up the tree, and it'll be isolated, and then once it's time to harvest it, chop the vine off, you don't have to worry about it taking over anywhere, and you eat the potato out. And what you get is one of these bad boys. And in certain places they get up to 150 pounds, but here in Florida, they, uh, I've heard of them getting up to 15 pounds. This one's probably like a, I don't know, three pounds, two pounds or something, I'm not sure. And I took a little chunk off here, and the good thing about these, first off, they're they're about the consistency of an apple when I cut it. It's not like a potato. I ate some raw. It's pretty tasty. It's got a little bit of a slight slimy texture to it, but once you cut it off, this is what happens to the spot that you cut. It skins over. So you're obviously not going to eat a giant six-pound potato in one sitting, but you can cut the top. You can cut a piece off that you want and shave it and this part right here will crust back over and you don't have to worry it will store just fine and you can keep it just hanging around for months and months so you might want to plant yourself some air potatoes so i'm going to come back here and start chopping everything up and i'll show you how it turns out we got everything chopped up here get you in there and i just threw all this stuff in here together Lost some kale there. Got the potatoes, the air potatoes. Got these guys. This is like a sprout off of a chive. They're uh, they're edible, so I'm gonna throw it in there. And then I'm gonna take a take a little bit of olive oil here. A tad bit of olive oil in here. Organic olive oil. I'm gonna get a little bit of our, little bit of our rainwater. That in there. And now I'm gonna fire up the rocket stove. Where's my lighter? There it is. I haven't actually done this yet, but I think I got it set up right. There it goes. Oops. There it goes, smoke's coming out the top. Is this working? And that flame. I'll grab the camera and show you now. What we got here is until it gets started, it's going to smoke quite a bit. And you see in there? Can you see in there? Pretty good shot. 
Well, you can't see too great in there, but that's a fire if you don't recognize it. Then what's ha what happens up here is you can see the fire down here. There it is. And the flames will start reaching almost all the way up to the top. You can see I'm starting to come up to the top there. And that bad boy is ready to roll. So we're gonna put the pot up on here. And there it is. That's Backwoods Cooking 101 right there, baby. So I'll cue you back in whenever it's done and let you know how it tastes because honestly I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to cooking. But it looks good. How, how can you go, how could you possibly go wrong with that? All right, so it looks like it's just about done. So I'm gonna give her a little sample here. Here in the backwoods, we don't like dirty and too many Tupperwares, so I'm just gonna use my, my trusty old cup here to dip on in and get me some of this. Yeah. That's looking just fine. I got some of this brown rice here. Pop some of the brown rice in there. Now this here is a meal for champions. I think I'm gonna give it a fork. Let me tell you how it is. It looks a little hot. They'll burn the hair right off the top of your mouth. What, you ain't got hair on top of your mouth? These air potatoes, they don't taste anything like potatoes. It's its called a potato for whatever reason. It grows in the ground. It looks like a potato. This thing doesn't taste anything like a potato. It's more like a, I'd say it's more like a cooked water chestnut. Yeah. It's great. Excellent.